What's going on guys, Black Sky Survival. Today we got Battle Box. Um, this one is uh, Mission uh, Jungle Survival, Mission 35. And we uh, wanted to do this one outside today, but unfortunately the weather's not working with us. It's raining like cats and dogs because there's a few cool items in here, bigger items than I wanted to set up, but uh, it's, it's raining too bad. So you know, you know how it goes, Murphy's Law. But we'll go ahead and go through each part of the kit. The first thing we have is the Jungle First Aid Kit. And uh, comes in a, it looks like the older military style kit, which I, I think is really cool. Kind of that nostalgic look. And it rigs up on the old, uh, I think they're called pistol belts. Kind of goes in the holes there, pretty cool, old, old school type stuff. And uh, inside you just have a, like a, a modern day survival module. So, you know, not the old school stuff, but has that old school look, which is cool. So, the next thing we have is one of my, y'all know that I love these things, sniper bells. Go ahead and pop it open. This is a, a, a camoed version of a sniper bell. So, um, I've not seen anything like this before as far as like a camo version. So that's that's pretty cool to help even more with uh, blending in. But it's uh, just a sniper veil, essentially. Set yourself up, use it as a scarf. Net minnows with it. Got a lot of survival uses. And uh, yeah, I, I love those things. So I'll definitely be using that in the future. Um, the next thing we have is Rothko Army type insect repellent. This has got uh, how much DEET is it? 30% DEET. So you need you know jungle, especially in the southeast. I mean, in the in the United States, probably the most thing closest to the jungle is the southeast, where like where we live at, Florida, South Carolina, Georgia, and. Uh, critters and, and everything, really human environments, you know, uh, not across all the states, but in certain regions, very jungle type environments. The next thing we have is a mosquito head net. And if you've ever been to any of those places I just mentioned, you, you gotta have one of these in, in the summer whenever you try to go to sleep or, or you're not going to sleep. This keeps the bugs off of you and, and uh, things like that. So good item to have. Um, the next thing we have is the Army GI style LED flashlight, not Army, Marine style, we'll say. Um, but essentially it's like the old crook neck moon beam, we call them in the Marine Corps. And uh, this one has LED, whereas the old ones didn't. You can clip on your yourself. It has a few different filters in here, just like the original does. So you've got different filter lenses. You've got a blue, a red, a green, and an amber. Preserve your night vision, reading maps of the green. So a few different ones, and that stows in the bottom there. So, you know, these things are heavy, and, and before, like, uh, Surefire and stuff, and, and Magalite came out um, with the uh, smaller one. This is what we carried. I carried one for a while, until Magalite came out with the, uh, the small, I think, not the Solitaire, but the Mini Mag. Everybody carried those until Surefire um, developed those. But that's all of your basic box stuff right there. Good loadout. Um, $24. I mean, that's a good amount of stuff, right, for $24. We can, we can agree on that. Um, the next thing we have is the Battle Box Jungle Hammock. And this thing comes with uh, straps and stuff like that so you've got atlas style straps like you would with an eno these things are great because you don't have to tie knots and all that crazy stuff and you can just clip the hammock onto it the hammock comes with more cordage to suspend the mosquito net and i'm hoping here in a, uh, soon the uh, rain stops so i can actually rig it up so you can see it um, is what, what i'm hoping for so all right guys so i have it rigged up uh, you can see these straps here. You just loop them in around and then it has daisy chains so you can hook it to the carabiner so there's no tying knots or anything like that. 
the wind's going nuts right now, so bear with us. But so you get the uh, lines too, and basically you run it through here, and this keeps the mosquito net off of you. So if you don't want to use the mosquito net, you can unzip and move it out of the way. And that way you can sit in it like a chair. I mean, that's comfortable right there. So you sit in it like a chair um, or lay in it and just relax without a mosquito net. But if you do, you want to make sure it suspends up so that way the mosquito, it's not draping on you for one or the mosquitoes, you know, aren't able to get to you because it's so uh, close on your, to your face. So run those gu guidelines through there and uh, get that done. But yeah, very good piece of gear, man. And I love the OD, OD green uh, look, so very cool. See that, so that's advanced box. And then the next thing we have is the cold steel kukurai. We've reviewed this on our channel before. It's a great blade. Um, it'll get work done. Chops very well, good size, and, and, and a good piece of gear uh, for the price. So you get those two things. I mean, this is a good jungle uh, loadout already. So that's advanced. 50 bucks, you get a jungle hammock and this cook rod. You're not gonna get that kind of gear anywhere else. So um, the next we got Pro. And the Pro is uh, something that I've really been needing for a long time and what it is is snake gators because where we film at a lot of times is snake infested with a lot of venomous snakes I actually stepped on one I was uh, filming this was one day by myself my cameraman was not with me and I actually stepped on a, uh, a copperhead on the way out he didn't bite me but it could have been very very bad so um, what I like about Snake Gators 2 versus Snake Boots is that you can take these off. I've been wearing Solomon, so I kind of moved away from boots just because they're uh, not necessary unless you're like, you know, in certain environments. And I just don't like them anymore. Um, after the military, I quit wearing them. So I wear them occasionally, but I more so like Solomon uh, shoes. So you can wrap the Snake Gators around. And then the good thing about it is when you get back to camp, you can take them off, put them in your pack. That way, you know, you don't have to have that discomfort of boots the whole time, especially in my environment during the summer times, it's so hot, I, you know, I wouldn't want that, but that's the setup. Battle tack design, goes over the shoe, so you got some on the front of the shoe. Pretty cool uh, gig there, and those are uh, $99 value. The last thing, this is something we reviewed in the past, and I'll put the link to the video at the end so you can check it out. This is the Ontario Air Force, uh, I think, or it's the Army, I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's the Army, um, uh, like survival knife, pilot survival knife is what it is. Um, but a couple features about it. This thing is, is designed to egress from a aircraft or helicopter, things like that. We have a saw back so you can, you know, kind of saw through the fuselage. We've got a serrated part of the blade here and then a cutting blade right there. Now, understand this is, uh, a overall survival knife so I know some of these features you may think well they're not really useful I would have liked to seen them come down with the blade and that's I think one of the things I said in my video that instead of this uh, but that's in case they need to cut themselves out of some cordage or something I get that so but I'd rather had seen a full-size blade there um, the handles insulated so when they're cutting through the fuselage they, they hit wires they don't electrocute themselves there's a butt there so you can smash if you need to but it's you know basically an updated design from their old Air Force type of survival knife, and, and I do I do like it for that. I think it's a good piece of kit. Now, this has the old school uh, Air Force survival knife sheath, and uh, I think that's probably good because the other sheath was cool, like it strapped to your leg and stuff, but not really functional for a person hiking or anything like that. That's more designed because they're going to be flying and it needs to be strapped to the leg. You can't have it on their belt. 
they can have it on their vest or something, but uh, you can strap it to the vest or the leg is why they do that, because they're sitting down. Whereas if you're you know, camping or hiking, you want to be able to put this on your belt. You also have a sharpening stone there, and then there's a metal sheath part here, so the knife will not puncture through in case of like a crash in an airplane is, is what that's for. So um, good knife, and they're saying this is a $95 value. So good loadout there. You got a smaller knife, large kukurai, um, snake gaiters, a lot of stuff in basic. Basic made out this month. This hammock is amazing. Uh, I've, I've seen it already. I just hadn't had a chance to put it up. Unless you do see it in the video, then I did. But anyhow, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Check out the link below. Check out Battlebox and uh, let me know what you think uh, of the, this month's gear. Take care.